<laughs> Hi, I'm host Eric. I'm going to take the lead on this one. This video is about each MBTI type's <laughs> penis size and shape, okay? So we're going to start with the INTJ. Now, I'm thinking the INTJ, it's got a very effective penis. So it's going to be, uh, it's not necessarily going to be particularly long, but it's going to be conscious of the uh, all angles of that it needs to get to. So it'll have a special bend to get to the G spot. It'll uh, <laughs> it'll be girthy at one spot to give kind of like a, a rib defect, you know. And um, of course, it'll ejaculate massive amounts of sperm. Well, it may not though, because the SC is not guaranteed. But, are you recording, Eric? But yes. it's not efficient. Like, if it's too much, like whatever is created is not efficient. Well, look, okay. Here's the thing: INTJ think... only uses their penis occasionally. But when they use it, they use it very, very efficiently. It hits the G-spot. Think... It's a double mm. penis. It goes in the butt, too. <laughs> All right, next type. I no, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We got, INTJ we is surely... a seven-minute video, Opaline. Surely it would be a go-go gadget, Inspector Gadget no, 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 type penis. We're not there penis. yet. That's ESTJ, Perfect. I think. That's a good idea, but I think that's ESTJ. Let's go to INFJ okay. penis. INFJ penis is very, very well-groomed. It's very um patient it's a patient penis it sits there and <laughs> waits for the vagina to invite it in and it asks questions how are you doing to the vagina it has a conversation at the gate before the INFJ actually thrusts he stops and lets his penis do some talking and by the time he's <laughs> done talking she's already come before he even goes in there so it doesn't matter what his penis is okay so basically it's going to say are we all good just before uh you know what? Right. Huh? Gonna make sure everybody's on the same page. It's gonna it's gonna have a lot of disclaimers. Okay. Probably the INFJ penis has disclaimers printed on it. If she wants to read it, she can read it that way. Maybe a space to sign as well. Okay. <laughs> now ENFJ penis ENFJ penis is is mostly fake. It's mostly plastic and extensions and stuff like that. It's got hair because ENFJs are very self-conscious about the head of their penis being bald. So they tend to get hair implants in their penis heads. So if you see a man with hair growing out of the tip of his penis, that's an ENFJ. You can type them that way. Okay, next type, INFP. INFP penises are very, very sad. They're very, they, they're very droopy. Droopy. They're very droopy. <laughs> and it, when erect, they're still like this. They're fully erect, but they're still curved down. They're looking down. They're gazing at their shoes. Um, you know, INT penises or INTP penises are similar too, except INTP penises are mostly distracted. So they're off to one side. Maybe they're they're huddled up in their own pubic hair, reading a book or something. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, to get an INTP penis actually out to do the SE stuff, you pretty much got to be an SE dom chick. So you got to be up, go up to them and say, okay, hey. I don't, I don't, you can sit here and think about it forever. I, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. I want you to come have sexual intercourse with me right now. And no, there's no there's no subtext here, INTP. Just come get it. And then finally, the, the INTP penis comes and says, all right, let's take a stretch. Let's see what's going on around here. And, you know, it's probably like most things in life. It, it humps for impact occasionally, like INTJ, but for impact, so it can put it in its life narrative. It says... I'm a penis has accomplished things. I don't fuck very often, but that that one time I did, it was like four hours and it was amazing. Okay, so um, what other, we'll just do the intuitives. <laughs> what other intuitives are there? Let's see, ENTJ. ENTJ <laughs> has a small penis. I'm sorry, they do. And it's not very effective, but I tell you what, it's extremely well dressed. There's nothing wrong with having a small penis, I'm not saying that, but it's extremely well dressed. It's also, it's small, it's also flat. So it's kind of like a phone, but, sm but smaller. It's like, it's like a square. It's a flat square. An ENTJ penis is a flat square, but it doesn't matter because they're so successful, women just think they're the biggest studs in the world. So, you know, if you, if you show a woman enough money, she actually perceives your penis differently. She'll think it, you're like a horse or something. Anyway. The uh, ESTJ or penis. Or maybe they, maybe they had extension. Maybe. maybe they just had an operation to fix it. That's probably true as well. Maybe that's why it's so flat and square. Maybe they prefer it that way because it's more efficient. 
but regardless, um, I was about to do, uh, INT, uh, INTJ, INFJ, who am I forgetting about? Oh, ESTJ, I was going to do ESTJ. There's your Swiss Army penis. There's your Swiss Army Swiss penis. Swiss Army penis. It's got everything you could use during sex. It's got a condom holder attached to it somehow. It's all of flesh, though. It's all naturally growing and occurring in this fashion. It's really a deformity, but uh, ESTJ finds it useful. Some of them have a toothpick in there, too. Now, that one is a little iffy because uh, how they stretch it all the way up to their teeth, I don't know. Regardless, uh, that's ESCJ, and I think I just got to do one more type. In ENFP? The ENFP. ENFP, yeah. The ENFP penis is, well, it, <sighs> it, it kind of it goes on and on a little bit sometimes, like, like an ENTP penis. But, you know, you have to be careful with it, because if you try to explain to it that that's not your vagina... It might critique capitalism. And then what are you going to do? So, okay, that's... If you have one of those types, then you get your penis told about. But if you're not one of those types, <laughs> I'm out of telling about penises. Any thoughts, guys? Sorry I monopolized that. I just figured I'd, I'd uh, pound it out, as they say. You seem to have an awful lot of experience with penises. I do, yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I actually, my, I was, I got my doctorate in anthropology, but my specialty was penises. I, I collected native, native, indigenous nudity, as they call it. It's okay. It was all indigenous nudity. Hey, you know, you know what you could do? You could sell in the store certificates for penis size. I could. I could sell that. I could say, I could say, you have an official INTJ penis. I say, send Susie the picture. She'll verify it. Me? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Susie, the official. Penis. This is your theory. Okay, well, so you, I, I, I look. You, I made the theory. You can do the the, the legwork. And you know, the thing that's coming to my mind is to do with ejaculation patterns. Mm, that's a whole other dissertation. Eric. You should add that to the one-on-one typing sessions yourself. Okay. Yeah. If you want, to, you have to pay a lot more, I think, for that. Though you have to pay more than than sixty dollars. You talk to me. Email me if you want me to <laughs> type your penis. I you're gonna have, you're gonna have to have some deep pockets, but it's possible. <laughs> it's like you type someone an NFP and ask if they want that painting. <laughs> Would you like me to use my vault, my penis vaultology? Yeah, I've developed a penis vaultology system that allows me to type people by their penises. I'm working on one for for vaginas. Would you like to be part of the study group that helps me to develop the theory? <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese. Hopefully, this is clickbaity enough. <laughs> <laughs>